One of my favorite things in the world to do is watch Friends. I know it's been off for years and years. It's not even around, but I still find myself binge watching old episodes. And I was thinking about this today and thinking it's the predictability of the friends in the circle, right? You have Chandler with his quirkiness, Monica with her type A of just everything has to be so neat and tidy and organized. It's Phoebe's ability to make you laugh at her silly songs. Ross always comes in with those smart comments and Joey and him and his food, like it is just so hilarious. And of course, Rachel, she just brings everybody together and it's just such this beautiful, cohesive team of people. And it's why I wanted to come on and share with you today that I have an opportunity for you to find your friends in the content creation space. So if you are thinking about creating your first or your next digital course, I don't want you to miss this opportunity because Amy Porterfield just opened the doors for registration for her course, Confident Bootcamp. And I'm actually offering a special bonus for anyone that registers for the course. Course Confident Bootcamp through my special link. So I want you to go to crystalprofit.com forward slash Amy dash bootcamp to register. That's crystalprofit.com forward slash Amy dash bootcamp. And what you're going to find when you get there is I have this special bonus private podcast series. It's called Money Mindset for Creators. So I want you to go register for Amy's bootcamp download the podcast and immediately start listening to it because what this training is set up to do is to help you get your mind right about monetizing your content, making money so that you can fuel your content creation dreams. So go to crystalprofit.com forward slash Amy dash bootcamp to register for course confident. And I cannot wait for you to find your friends and find the people that will be there for you. Do you see what I did there? Yeah. Nice little friends segue connection. Go to crystalprofit.com forward slash Amy dash bootcamp. And I cannot wait to see you inside. Okay. Let's get into today's episode. So Today's show is going to be a little different because as you can tell, the sound of my voice and the sounds in the background are totally different than what you're used to and that is because I am on vacation and I wanted to record this episode because I know that there are a lot of busy people out there that need to have the flexibility of sticking to their content calendar and still getting things done even when they have a tight schedule. So today's episode is all about how to record remotely from your phone. Welcome to the Profit Podcast, where we teach entrepreneurs how to start, launch, and market their podcast. I'm your host, Crystal Profit, and I'm so excited that you're here. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Because if you've been thinking about creating a podcast for a while, well... I'm so glad you found this show. Think of this as the shortcut slash time-saving version of searching Google and YouTube for hours and hours trying to figure out the world of podcasting. Trust me, as a busy mama of three, I get it. You don't have a lot of time to be spent or wasted, I should say, searching the web, trying to find all the right ideas and all the amazing things that are out there and you just end up overwhelmed. Trust me, I've been there, done that, took home the souvenir. But this podcast is gonna help you in practical ways because twice a week we'll be delivering episodes that are gonna give you steps to help you create a podcast your audience can't wait to listen to. So let's get right to it, shall we? Have you been wanting to start a podcast? You've been thinking about it. It feels right. You just know this is the next thing that my business needs. Well, I encourage you to sign up for my five-day podcast boot camp. This is a thing that you have been looking for. It is a five-day video series where I walk you through exactly how to start, launch, and market your podcast. And I throw in some more information about 
planning strategies and being consistent and how you can make the most out of your podcast from day one. So sign up for our five-day Create Your Podcast Bootcamp at crystalprofit.com slash podcast bootcamp. And do it already. You know that you've been wanting to, so just bite the bullet and join us. Okay, so like I said in the beginning, this episode's a little bit different um, because I'm recording. I'm actually in San Antonio, Texas on a vacation with my family because my husband just finished his MBA and I'm so dang proud of that man and we are celebrating the end of the summer and we are just taking a trip and we've had so much fun but it is 6 30 in the morning and everybody is still asleep but I wanted to record this episode because I've had several of you ask me well how do you record if you're remote do you take your clunky equipment everywhere and my answer to that is you don't have to now I think it just depends on the type of show that you want to produce and um, with y'all you know I'm not fancy I'm not about the fancy stuff but I do believe in quality content and I believe that the content is more important than the sound Now, I think that you should try to deliver the highest quality sound on a regular basis, but for the purposes of today, like I'm going to tell you exactly like my background and like where I am right now because this resort is amazing. So shout out to the JW Resort in San Antonio because it is gorgeous. If you ever visit Texas and you've never been here, um, this is our first time here, but it's very grand but it's super family friendly so um i'm in the downtown lobby or downtown you know what i mean the downstairs lobby and it's very open it's very spacious and it has the potential for a lot of echo um it's kind of one of the reasons why i came out here really early because i knew that there was going to be there's a ton of families here so i knew that i wanted to get down here before there was too much noise and then you probably wouldn't have been able to hear me at all but um but yeah so i'm down here and it's funny because y'all it is august it is mid-august and they have two fireplaces going so i see them they're beautiful i appreciate the ambiance but i'm sitting as far away from the fireplaces as possible because that is not no no i do not want to sit next to a fireplace in august but then there's um if you hear any kind of water sounds that's because there is a like a small pond um that's not too far away from me and so anyway there's a few people down here but not a ton again i just kind of wanted to give you a feel for the actual atmosphere that i'm in that i'm recording in because um i think that it makes a difference in knowing um i'm not necessarily sitting in a busy crowded starbucks and there's just a whole bunch of people moving around and there's, you know, clinking and clanking and people talking. I'm, there's only a very few, maybe like only three or four other people downstairs. Now there's more people upstairs, but anyway, so what did I do to actually get this set up? I have my iPhone and I'm literally doing this on my voice memos within my iPhone so just if you don't have the app where it's readily accessible you can go in your search screen if you didn't know this i didn't know this till like a year ago and it's changed my life because i'm like where did that app go i lost it i cannot find it but if you swipe go to your home screen on your iphone you swipe left then you can get a search function and if you just type in that box voice memos then the voice memo app will pop up or if you deleted it for some reason, then it'll give you the option to re-download it. So go download the Voice Memos app if you don't already have it, and then open it. And then it is as simple as hitting record. Now, I will say I have my earbuds that came with my iPhone. That is what I'm recording on. I'm sure if you had some of those AirPods, it'd probably work just as well. I don't have any of those. Um, maybe one day I don't even know how how much they cost I've heard other people say they're expensive but I mean expensive is relative for me because I'm pretty cheap so I feel like anything is expensive but um but yeah so I'm just recording using my iPhone uh, earbuds that I have and that's basically it like 
like I said, guys, like it's not super fancy, but I'm doing this because I wanted to show you the type of sound that you get when you are out and about, if you're traveling, or if you, maybe you live um, with multiple people in your house and you, you know, like me, you don't have a lot of time where it's like super, super quiet or you have to go record in your closet, you have to do this. I just wanted to give you this as another option to record yourself and be able to um, have this as an option for your podcasting needs because I think that it's really important to have a lot of options and I'm just I've seen people um, when they do remote when they're working remotely and they're recording then they're going to use what is called it's a zoom h6 and it's like a uh, my uncle it's funny because before I ever started podcasting I did a speaking engagement um, at a church that I used to attend and it was all about um women stepping into their creative selves and my uncle had one of these from his acting like he he's an actor and he said that they use one on set and you know it records their voice really well because I had said man I'm doing this speaking engagement and I really wish I had something to you know record he was like oh I got this thing like you can borrow it and I was like okay and then, you know, it turns out years later, now that I'm into podcasting, I know what it is. But it's called a Zoom H6 Handy Recorder. And you can get these on Amazon. Um, they kind of range depending on who the seller is. But um, they can get kind of pricey. They're between 2 to $300. But if you are going to be traveling a lot or you're wanting to do... Uh, in-person interviews remotely and you don't want to have like your laptop and a bunch of microphones and like a crazy setup then this is a great option because I can tell you the quality of the sound is very crisp it sounds amazing because I used one of these Um, I don't think I had a zoom h6 but it was along the same lines I know it was um it was a pretty fancy one because they used it for um in their movies like that's how they you know got some of the audio whenever they were on remote sites so um so that's another option but I think that you should just really consider what you want to be available like I hope that makes sense like you like what do you want out of recording something remotely do you, is quality more important then if the sound quality is very very important then I think that you should consider investing in something like this that is portable that you can take um, to your in-person interviews but like me I mostly record at home um, with my own equipment and so doing these one-offs with my phone and my earbuds like that works for me because y'all know that I'm more focused on the quality content than having the top of the line fanciest studio equipment um and that's just that's my preference that's my jam and that's just who I am and I think that one day it'd be amazing to invest and get one of these as um something to have because I know that in the future I'm going to be traveling to conferences I actually have a conference coming up in October so shout out to my b-school buddies if you're going to be there in San Diego um, I'm super excited to go to this conference and I know that I would love to have something like this handy recorder to chat with my friends you know and say hey you know like we're all here we're all into you know into the same kind of thing we're all entrepreneurs on different journeys and I've actually had several of them asking me podcasting questions and so I would love to have this piece of equipment that way I can say hey you know like let's just let's do an impromptu podcast interview and like let's just get it done right here on the spot because I think that that would be really cool it would be really fun and it would just it gives you just one more thing like one more um versatile aspect of your podcast and for me I feel like the more options you have the less stressful it is I hope that makes sense like the more that you can be flexible with your not necessarily your time, because I think that you should, you know, not, again, not be reactive. I've talked a lot lately about being reactive to things, and it's not a great way to live, but the more that you can be um, 
just have a lot of options and you know like can I try this can I do this and that's another thing is just try something out like this I I honestly didn't know how well this episode was going to turn out because I'm recording on my phone but I've had so many people ask me like hey you know can, how do you record on your phone how can I make this work on my phone and do I have to buy an app do I have to do this like y'all I did not buy this app this is literally what comes as a default installed on my phone and if you have an Android, I don't know a comparable one. I will put one in the show notes if I find something. I've had a few suggested to me, but I can't think of the names of them off the top of my head. But I'm sure that there is some built-in voice recorder within your device. Or if you have an iPad or, you know, maybe even something functionally on your computer that you can record. I do, however, suggest that you put in earbuds and have a mic that's closer to you because I'm actually I'm sitting here looking at my laptop and I know that the microphone is just (laughs) unless I want to be like really really close to my screen and I'm pretty sure they would like call security and be like that lady is making out with her laptop if I got as close (laughs) to this (laughs) as I think that it would need to be in order for you to understand me really well so, um, so yeah, I, I, I don't do that with my laptop. If I did, I would put the earbuds in. So, um, because the microphone is right by my mouth and the quality of the sound is a lot better. So, um, y'all, I hope that you found this episode helpful. I know it was a lot shorter than my normal ones, but like I said, I wanted to give you this information because I've had several of you asking me, so be sure to go check out the show notes for this episode, and just remember, like, keep trying new things, like, I've had so many people that, and myself included, like, I get really rigid on what I'm going to do and how I'm going to do it, and I found that the more flexible I am or the more open I am to trying new things or exploring new opportunities because y'all I honestly I came into recording this episode thinking if this sounds terrible when I sit down to edit it then I can just throw it away I don't even have to use it but having that mentality just really frees you up to not worry about everything does that make sense like it gives you the opportunity to fail in a good way, like that's not a bad thing. Failing is not a bad thing, but it gives you the opportunity to try because if this works out for me, then I'm like, wow, I just added, you know, a toolbox, a toolbox. I just added a tool to my toolbox, my toolkit that I can use when I travel now. And I don't have to invest in any other fancy equipment. And now I know that this works and I'm gonna see how hard it is to edit. And I'll get back to y'all on that. Maybe I'll put that in the show notes, like how hard the audio is to edit, you know, whenever it's done this way, but, um, but just keep exploring, keep trying new things. I know that, um, equipment is one of the number one things people ask me about. And I think that everyone is very caught up in trying to have this studio quality sound. And while I think that that's, I think it's great. I think you should aspire to have that, but you're not going to get a $50,000 sound quality unless you have a $50,000 studio. So just remember that when you're comparing yourself to shows that have a fancy setup, fancy equipment, and they have multiple production people on their team. So I remember my recent interview with Travis from Buzzsprout and him saying that was like his number one mistake that he made was trying to compare his brand new like baby show that he was running by himself to a show that was being produced by 12 people. I mean, let's be realistic, guys. Like, do what you can with what you have and just keep creating content. I think that that's what's most important. Keep putting out quality information to your audience and they're gonna appreciate it. They're not gonna care if you're recording in a lobby in the middle of the hill country, surrounded by fireplaces and waterfalls or whatever. It's not a waterfall, it's like a like a pond there was a kid leaning over it a second ago and I was thinking oh my gosh if we catch this in this audio track of this kid falling in this pond then I'm just gonna die laughing it's not deep guys like I'm not totally a monster but 
it would be pretty funny. Even if it was one of my own kids, I think it would still be pretty funny that we caught it on audio. Anyway, <laughs> oh, somebody's opinion of me just got a lot lower. So that is all I have for you today. So be sure to check out the show notes and sign up for the five-day podcast boot camp if you haven't already. And be sure to join the Waitlist for Profit podcasting because it is opening at the end of August and it's only going to be open for 10 days. And I've got some pretty big surprises coming up. I've got a lot of things that are going to be really fun and some things that I've shared and some things that I haven't. Some things that actually just kind of came to fruition in the last few days while I've been on vacation. So I'm excited to share those with you. And if you're interested, go to crystalprofit.com slash podcast course and you can join the wait list for whenever the doors open and you'll be notified. And also there is a free webinar that I'm hosting at the, uh, let me see, the first one's on August 27th and then August 29th, then September 3rd and September 5th. So there's going to be four webinars, and all of these webinars are going to be about how to grow your email list with a podcast. So for you online entrepreneurs, I know that growing your email list is on your list of things to do, and if you're going to start a podcast, I'm going to show you exactly how to do this um, with all the strategies that I've learned and the things that I've done, and this is 100% free. So um, even if you don't join the course, you don't have to buy anything. You know, all you have to do is just show up. But this, this webinar is going to be really cool. I've spent a lot of time developing the strategies in here. And I think that you're going to find a lot, a lot of value. If you don't have an email list at all, then you should definitely come. Because I go through everything from the basics to you know why you need an email list. And all the way through step-by-step step, what I do for this podcast. So I encourage you to show up. I'll put some information in the show notes. That way you can register for the webinars, but that does it. So keep it up. We all have to start somewhere. Hey, Profit Podcast listeners. Thanks for sticking around a little bit after the episode to hear this special message because I want to hear from you. We are starting a new segment called Fan Mail Shoutouts, and I want to hear from you and I want to hear your questions. What do you want to know? What questions have you been dying to ask me? So here's how to make this happen. Go to the app where you're listening to this podcast right now. Go there. I'll wait a second. Okay. Now, once you're there, you're going to see a hyperlink at the top of the episode description that says, send Crystal a text message. And that's all I want you to do. Send me a text. It could be casual, informal. It could be totally anonymous. Or if you want, you can include your name and the name of your podcast or content, wherever you are creating. And I will give you a special shout out in an upcoming episode. So again, go to the show notes for where you're listening to this episode right now. And it will say, send Crystal a text message. And I cannot wait to hear from you and give you a shout out in an upcoming segment of fan mail shout outs.